Hello everyone, Dan Galloway here, and today I want to show you uh, a new operating system that I'm working with. It's called Ghost BSD 18.10, uh, and I'm in it right now. This is a VM of Ghost BSD 18.10. Um, great operating system, by the way, um, and I want to give you a tour of that operating system. And to do that, I'm going to walk you through the uh, process here of um, what's available, what features are available in the operating system uh, itself. It's a Berkeley software distribution of Unix. All right, so let's get into it. All right, uh, here we are. Let's uh, click on the menu and uh, bring that up. First thing is we get into Control Center. And in the Control Center, there's lots of stuff in here. And in the Admin section under Display here, we've got a 1920 by 1080 display, as you can see. And um, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and uh, and let's go over to uh, power management, and you can control power management here. All right, and um, so next we get down into look and feel, appearance. Here's hardware. If you click on that button, it brings it up there. Um, if you click on this, this is uh, internet and network look and feel, and um, that's the section we're in now. Under appearance, you can click on that. I'm running the Black Mate or Mate, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is a Mate desktop, and so I'm using the Black Mate, which is a, a dark theme for Mate. It's really nice. I like it. Okay, and so um, you can scroll down and select whatever you want here, uh, different things that you have uh, available to you. You can even get more online if you click the button there and bring that up. Uh, so themes are available here for you to do that. And um, so let's uh, go ahead and close that, get back in here, and let's close this out. And uh, let's get down to uh, the next set, which is the set preferred uh, applications. And here I've got my web browsers, Firefox, and I don't have a mail reader set up. You've got multimedia, system office, and accessibility that you can set up as well. All right, so let's uh, get back into the menu, and let's go up to System Tools. And um, System Tools, you've got various things here. And so you've got Kaja, you've got Ghost BSD Bugs, Log File Viewer, you've got the Mate Disk Analyzer. Uh, so you can click on that and, uh, and see what's available there. Uh, you can even change the view if you want um, to the tree map, but it doesn't really show you much. So I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, chart view here. Okay, so it just shows you what's being used up in the system. Okay, so let's go back to the menu, go back up to uh, system tools again, and let's go over to the uh, terminal. Let's open that up. And I've got this on translucency for opacity. Uh, let's do a uname A, and you can see that it is FreeBSD. Uh, data Ghost BSD PC .home is the uh, domain, the name of the computer, fully qualified domain name, uh, based on FreeBSD 12. Okay, now let me run a DF and human readable switch, and you can see that uh, this is what's being utilized right now in the system. <coughs> uh, and then finally, if we do a uh, let's see, top, it brings us up to the top processes in the system. Um, and you can see here that we have um, not, not a lot of memory being used. Um, but this is a pretty robust Unix system, so it's going to use a lot of memory. Um, load averages look pretty good, 1.1, 1 .1, 0.79, 0.74. Um, there is uh, one running process, 53 sleeping, and one zombie process. All right, so let's clear the screen and exit the terminal. And let's get back out to, uh, uh, let's go back to system tools again, go down to Octo PKG. And this is equivalent to Synaptic Package Manager, if you're familiar with that in Ubuntu or Debian. Um, so I'm going to go in here and first thing I want to do is show you that it's synchronizing the databases right now. Uh, if you log in as root, it will do that. If you don't log in as root, it won't do that. So you want to make sure you log in as root when you do that. Um, 
it's updating uh, the repositories right now. It's now it's completed. So let's go up and let's search for GFTP, which is the GNOME File Transfer Protocol application. And it may already be installed. Yes, it is installed. It's got the green square there. So let's clear that out and let's go ahead and type in something else. Um, let's do HTOP. Okay, it's not installed. So I'm going to right click and select install. And then I'm going to go up and click the green check mark here and let it uh, install. Once I click the yes, it's going to install two packages. So I'm going to click yes. And you can see that it's beginning the install process here. And it's completed already. So it's finished OK, no errors. So let's go ahead and close this interface and let's go out and test it. Uh, all right, so let me go ahead and close this. And, or actually, I'll leave it open. Let's do uh, System Tools, the Mate terminal, get back into the terminal. And let's do HTOP. All right, so that's a, this is HTOP, so it's a little bit. Uh, more robust than, than top. It's got a little more graphical uh, interface here. It's in curses graphical and shows you a little bit more of what's going on than top does. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. All right, system's running great. So let's go ahead and close the terminal. And now let's uh, let's go ahead and close uh, Octo PKG here. Yeah, I'll just go over and do a file. Okay, so we got it. Got it closed. All right, let's go back to the menu. And uh, now let's go up to uh, System Tools again and see you've got some other things. Up to Sound and Video. You've got Cheese, you've got Braille, Known Player, In Player, um, Pulse Audio, Volume Control, etc. Under Preferences, you've got a bunch of stuff here. Appearance, Displays, uh, file management. So let's go ahead and click on file management um, and bring that up. And this is your preferences for file management. This isn't the actual file manager. Uh, so you can set the behavior to display, the preview, media, etc. etc. I'll go ahead and close that. Now let's go back into the menu and go up to uh, preferences again. Come down. Um, we've got uh, other things that we can look at here. Uh, one of them is Station Tweak. Let's go to Office. I've got uh, the Mate Dictionary, Open Office installed. So under Mate Dictionary, let's go ahead and put in a word here. Let's put in Atrocious and hit the Enter key, and it's going to bring up the definition of Atrocious, show you how it's used, it's used. even give you some synonyms for it. Here they are. It's a great little uh, utility uh, built into Unix. All right, so let's close that, and now let's go back to the menu, go up to Office again. Here's the Open Office suite that I've installed. It does not come natively; it only comes with LibreOffice, and I deleted that. All right, and then I've clicked on Wine here, and I've installed uh, a, an application or suite called FreeOffice, and it's got uh, and, and WPS Office as well. Okay, got both of those installed. And they install under Wine because both of these are Windows applications. Let's do the Text Maker, and um, it's going to bring up um, your word processor in um, FreeOffice. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Pretty nice. Uh, kind of equivalent to Microsoft Office 2013. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm not going to get into it much. I'm just going to show you that it's there, and uh, go ahead and close it now. I'm not going to open up WPS uh, at this time. All right, so let's go back in, go to the internet. And uh, here you've got FileZilla, you've got GFTP that we installed earlier. This is a um, file transfer protocol client that connects me to my WD personal cloud. Here's the username and password and the domain uh, IP address. Let's go ahead and put in the password for the connection and connect and I'm connected. All right, so I'm going to go over to the public side of the uh, cloud and I'm going to go to the shared pictures. I'm going to select the bridges folder here in a moment. Let me go over and select the pictures folder on the local system in Unix 
and let's uh, select the bridges folder and then let's copy that over uh, download rather that particular um, bundle okay and um, okay so it's it's copied it's downloaded all right so let's go back and uh, now let's go to the file manager and let's go to home and get into the pictures folder or directory and there's the bridges directory and um, we're going to bring those up now so you can see that they did copy over okay and they downloaded just fine there they are and so we can use those for backgrounds whatever we want to do for wallpaper all right so let's go back to the menu let's come up to um, internet again and now let's come down to uh, there's Thunderbird client there's transmission BitTorrent client uh, let's come to the graphics you get the eye of made image viewer made color selector shockwell um, shockwell rather. no games okay under administration here's the update um, updater here for Unix and there's no updates currently available all right, let's go up to accessories. You've got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, GVim, which is the GNOME version of Vim. You've got the calculator. Um, if I want to, I can change the basic mode away from that and go to the advanced mode. And I now have a scientific calculator here in Unix. It's, it's a great little system. Um, great utility, too. Accessibility is again, or accessories rather. You've got uh, you can search for uh, files here under the Mate search. So let's search for all text files. And there they are. Let me expand this so we can see those. So under the Data Pioneer directory, here are all text files that were found on the system. I don't have very many files here. Okay, so let's go back to the menu. Uh, let's come up to accessories again. And here we've got. Uh, screenshot that we can take so we'll take a screenshot here and um, it's got a delay of three seconds I'm not going to include the pointer if I click that button there in three seconds it's going to take a snapshot of the of the desktop so it looks pretty nice and we can save it to the pictures directory there okay all right so under the menu again uh, let's go up and um, you can see here that we've got we can lock the screen we can uh, we lock the screen, we can put in the password for Dan Calloway, and uh, we can uh, get back in then by unlocking it. All right, so here we've got the network, and there's the IP address, uh, broadcast address, net mask. There's the open office uh, org suite. Uh, there's my audio selector, got a 100% output. I'm gonna decrease that a little bit. All right, we've got here the calendar. Uh, so if I click that, it brings the calendar up. This is the 11th of December. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, you see that on all most Unix systems. All right, so we can copy the time and date from here if we want. We can go into preferences if we like, and we can set the uh, clock format from 12 hour or 24 to 12 hour. We can show the date, the seconds. Uh, we can show weather. We can show temperature. Here we've got degrees Fahrenheit, miles per hour. Uh, for the location, I've got my location of Asheville, North Carolina, which is in America, New York. Time zone. I close that, and uh, here we can click uh, and view uh, things there as well. And we can right-click on the desktop, and we can get back into the terminal here. And uh, in the terminal, we can select time shows you the real user and system time date which shows you the date and day and um, Eastern Standard Time and then a calculator we can do that as well alright so uh, this has been a review of uh, ESD Unix hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching